Welcome to Cooking with Frank. Um, today I'm going to show you a really simple recipe that's going to make your kitchen and home smell wonderful while it's cooking. It's a slow cooker chicken pot pie. And all you're going to need is a crock pot. In my case, I've got a Ninja cooking system, which is kind of like a crock pot on steroids. It does a lot of other stuff, but all I'm going to need it for today is a slow cooker. And again, this recipe is really simple. You're going to start out with about a pound and a half to two pounds of boneless chicken breast. You want to cube the, the meat up into cubes and then place it into the cooker raw. It doesn't need to be pre-cooked. And then for your, for your innards, as I would say, for your uh, chicken pot pie, um, I've got some suggestions here, but really whatever you like in a chicken pot pie, feel free to add or subtract from my recipe. But for my veggies, I'm going to use about a cup of sliced uh, sugar snap peas. And I'm kind of substituting sweet peas with sugar snaps in this case. A lot of times you see sweet peas in uh, chicken pot pies. But I'm going to put about a cup of those in there. And also, I've got about a half a cup of baby carrots. And I've cut those too. I've cut those in half. And I don't like a ton of carrot in my chicken pot pie, but I like a little, so I'm putting about a half a cup in there. And also, I'm a little bit of onion, very small amount, probably about a half a cup, if that, I'm gonna slice and dice and put into the mixture as well. And I love mushrooms, so I've got an eight ounce pack of pre-washed sliced uh, mushrooms that I will add into the mixture as well. And for the creaminess, I'm going to take two cans of cream of chicken and mushroom soup and one can of cream of chicken soup and pour into the into the bowl and just mix that all together and mix it all up. That, my friend, is the innards of your chicken pot pie. So then I'm going to turn the uh, slow cooker on to the high setting and let that cook for about four hours. And that should be plenty, five at the, at the tops. Um, but I'm gonna let that go for about four hours and about halfway through, a couple hours in, a couple, couple three hours in, I'm gonna add a cup and a half of uh, chopped up uh, boiled eggs. I love boiled eggs and chicken pies, so that will be fantastic. So that's the innards of your pie. And one of the problems with doing a, a big chicken pie casserole is your leftovers. You know, you stick that into your fridge and when you bring it out, it's kind of, uh, the crust has kind of lost its luster. So what I'm gonna do is individual pot pies. And I've got a perfect little bowl for this, um, about the size of a pot pie uh, bowl. And my crust is just gonna be in one of these pre-rolled pie crust. And I'm gonna cut out little sections to place along the side of the bowl. And then I'm gonna just dip in some innards into the bowl and uh, cut out a section of pie crust to put on top and poke a few holes in there so it can breathe while it's cooking. Recipe for the pie crust says set your oven at about 450 degrees and 9 to 11 minutes you should have a golden brown crust on top of your chicken pot pie. Super simple. Uh, just stick the leftover innards in the fridge and whenever you want to do a, another chicken pot pie take them out get your bowl, put some crust on, and pop it in the oven, and you got another one. So you always have good, crispy, uh, light uh, crust on top of your chicken pot pie. So it's really, really simple. I'd like you to give it a try, because I think you'll think it's one of the best things ever. So give it a shot, enjoy.